Prime Minister Li Xinlong has written a letter of congratulations to Mr. Christopher Laksan, the new Prime Minister of New Zealand. The former businessman entered politics three years ago and is leader of the centre-right National Party, whose victory at the polls on Saturday marks a decisive turn to the right for the previously left-leaning country. Current results are still provisional pending the final vote count due on November 3rd. But as at late Saturday, New Zealand time, more than 95% of the votes had been counted. In his letter, PM Lee expressed confidence New Zealand would thrive under Mr Laksan's leadership amid the uncertain times ahead. He said Singapore and New Zealand enjoy long-standing, close relations, underpinned by several partnerships, like the Enhanced Partnership, Trans-Pacific Strategic Economic Partnership and Digital Economy Partnership Agreement. I'm glad that both sides are stepping up cooperation in strengthening supply chain resilience, which would be mutually beneficial in this increasingly challenging and complex global environment. I look forward to working closely with you to further strengthen our bilateral ties and cooperation, both regionally and internationally," he said. PM Lee, who recalled meeting Mr. Laxon. 53. In June 2022, when the latter visited Singapore, added that he looks forward to another meeting soon. I wish you and your government every success, he said. Before his meteoric rise in politics, Mr. Laxon was the former Air New Zealand chief executive and held senior roles at global consumer goods firm Unilever. He has pledged to bring down the cost of living, crack down on crime and deliver better healthcare and education. New Zealand's swing to the right ends the Labour Party's six years in office, a period marked by various crises like the COVID-19 pandemic and the Christchurch mosque attacks. The Labour government was led by former Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern for the most part until her shock resignation briefly installed Mr Chris Hipkins in the post he failed to retain.